Hi, and welcome to the Science Show, the show that brings you the best of new technology from around the world. I'm Jack Taylor, and today we're going to be talking about non-Newtonian fluids. Everything around us can be said to either be a solid, liquid, or gas, and under the right conditions, every substance can be categorised as one of these three states. The parameters for determining these three states are temperature and pressure. Probably the best way to describe these three states is by using something that we're all familiar with, water. Ice, a solid, has lots of molecules packed together with strong bonds with each other. These molecules have a fixed position in space relative to each other, giving it a solid form. Water, a liquid, has much more free-moving molecules with less strong bonds with one another, which means it can flow freely into the vessel. It has a discrete surface, which is not necessarily the same shape as the container. Gas, in this case water vapour, has completely free-flowing molecules with no specific shape or volume. This is why they're usually dispersed evenly throughout the space it's put into. Most fluids, like water, are Newtonian fluids. Newtonian fluids have a linear stress-strain ratio which runs through its origins. This means that a water fluid will flow regardless of the pressure put forced upon it. Non-Newtonian fluids, and this is where things become really interesting, have a different viscosity depending on the pressure applied towards it. To put it simply, left alone, a non-Newtonian fluid will run around like water, but apply a pressure like a poke or a stomp, and suddenly, as if by magic, a non-Newtonian fluid will turn into a solid. Now the easiest and certainly most fun way of explaining this is to make our very own non-Newtonian fluid. And it's so easy, even you can do it at home. All you need is some corn flour, water and a bowl to mix it in. Now, here's my bowl and here's my corn flour. Now what I'm going to do is slowly add the corn flour. Get your hands in, start mixing it around. Now you should start feeling it thicken up. If it's not quite thick enough, add a little bit more and keep doing it until you've got the right consistency. Now we've made our non-Newtonian fluid, we can have some fun. Use a bit of force to pick some up. Uh, make a solid. You can pack that in, roll it around, fling a bit of custard all over the place and poof, turns into a liquid. Scrape it all up like a solid and pop it back into the bowl. There we have a non-Newtonian fluid. All cleared up. Now non-Newtonian fluids are great fun to play with but they also have some very serious applications. One such application is body armour. Conventional body armour is made up of a composite material which is excellent for stopping the impact such as from a bullet but sometimes restricts the wearer from movement. Non-Newtonian fluids, as we've seen, can create a body armour which the person ha user has full movement and mobility, but from a sudden pressure, such as the stab of a dagger or a hit from a bullet, the body armour will stiffen up, becoming solid and helping protect the user. What a great way to use such a fun material. I've been Jack Taylor and I hope you've enjoyed my short piece on non-Newtonian fluids. Goodbye. <laughs>